51 from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, 2142 St. James Place, right down the street. I came back here after 25 years of living in this area, and um, culture, friends, arts, music, a lot of things brought me back here, but mostly family and friends brought me back here. Um, some stupid stuff, but mostly family and friends brought me back. I grew up three blocks away, so this is square where I played when I was a little boy. And when you come back to your hometown, you kind of sort of see folks that you ain't seen. I like my friendships. That's most important. Other than family, friendships and love and honor and respect is most important in life. I don't give a, sorry, um, I don't give an F what you do. But if you have them incorporated into what you believe in and peace, it's really good to believe. It doesn't matter what you believe in, as long as it's good. I don't mean the negative side, I mean the positive side. Believe and just believe. But I don't wear crosses all over my body for nothing. I'm a Christian, I'm proud of it. That's my belief. But um, unfortunately, you go that way, that way, that way, or that way. And there's a bunch of human beings that will take anything that you have because I think it comes from the home. Like I said before about family, I think it comes from the home. These cats, these these folks, ain't got nothing, and they have no anything at home. So when they're 16 or 15, they get thrown out or kicked out or walk out, and then they come out in these jungles. You can walk for 10 minutes, and you ain't on nobody's land but these guys. So I think this inclement people um, hurt us. And again, when I went back before to say, um, I think we all need love, peace, respect, honor, dignity, and just keep on keeping on as Bob Dylan would say. It's really important to me to be able to write everything down every day. Um, unfortunately, in these inclement concrete jungles, um, have to, or you have to get ripped off, which I've been ripped off. I look dead in that stupid lens, but uh, weapons, and I don't believe in any kind of weapons other than um, tools. But this is unfortunately what I have to have in this city, but these are the guys that I have to carry with me. Most importantly, again, my diaries, make sure my family, which are all been stolen from me. When you're in these jungles, and one chooses or chooses not to be, it's, it's just a choice. I choose to be here, so I choose to put myself out in harm's way. And it doesn't whether you want to call it homeless or whether you want to call it being outside. See, I could be in the mountains and I don't have to worry about nothing. Except a bear, maybe, or a coyote. Back home, a rattler, a rattlesnake. But here, you gotta worry about all these cats that are running around. And I don't mean CATSs, I mean people that have some kind of ulterior motive to rob you. And Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think the city's got 3.2 million people. But um, when one has to put himself in, and I've been here since July. Um, I came back from Arizona. By the way, that's where I live in Flagstaff, but I came back in July and hung out with all my friends and a bunch of really good human beings came in. and. We just did our thing. And when good people are out here struggling, trying to make it better, some of these cats may try to make it worse anytime they want to. You gotta, what, arm yourself with this stuff? 
Come on, man. I have other stuff, but this is not cool. But, and again, these concrete jungles, if one chooses to be here and be exposed to these jungles 24-7, that's y'all's turn. It's northeastern turn. Um, you're going to come across this stuff. This I've learned the hard way. But I'll learn the soft way to show all these people love, respect, and that that shit should be melted down there. Chip it. Mostly, I ponder upon what will make peace upon this earth. What will do right to make man do right. Because if not, we have no future.